well so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel shouts out to the lion's den community salute to my brother a weapons he repped life music make sure y'all follow us on social media on our instagram also make sure that you guys check out our facebook channel uh facebook.com backslash ticket tv all these links are going to be in the description box below you guys can also catch our podcast show make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show we'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show uh so all of the links will be pinned below salute to everybody who donates to the stream and we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now hopefully you guys enjoy it much love honor respect and appreciation oh man um salute to everybody that's gonna come on in here and catch this video man Hopefully you guys are doing well tonight. I have, uh, man, I don't know what to think about this, man. Uh, this has been going all around the news online since this story came out uh, just just today, this morning. And this is unbelievable, man. But uh, Lord Jesus, have mercy, man. Um, so you have a man that has come forward uh, that has said that he had, uh, was a witness um to uh reginald vell johnson who's better known as uh carl winslow uh from the show family matters if you guys remember carl winslow from the show family matters uh he was the father in family matters everybody know who carl is right there on the right hand side of your screen uh this man has accused carl winslow uh, of having relations uh with p diddy and he said that he was a witness to it now, uh, basically, um, you know, he says he heard two people having relations uh, in the room. So he kicked in the door to see what was going on. Uh, he says that uh, he walked in on these two having relations and uh, says we've been on this earth for a few years and we never walked in on anything like that. Uh, is what he said. Now, um, you know, Reginald uh, Carl Winslow, apparently, according to reports, has never been married, has no children, and has been very private about his personal life over the years. You understand that there has been many rumors and speculations about uh, Carl Winslow, you know what I'm saying? But he's never publicly addressed his personal life or any of these things. Um, so he's never publicly addressed these things. Um, also, I saw a video today where, uh, DJ Academics was saying that he thinks that P. Diddy's going to come out and admit that he goes both ways at some point in time. Um, but this man, he did an interview basically. And on his interview, uh, this man said he witnessed, um, you know, Puff, and and Carl Winslow, man, um, getting it in, man, and, and I, I just bro, man, this this story, this P Diddy stuff, man, it gets deeper and deeper, man, as you go along on this, you know, uh, just road of things that you hear, things that people say, things that are probably would have never been said out loud if he didn't have these accusations against him. But it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, and the fact that P. Diddy has not filed lawsuits, the fact that P. Diddy has not fought most of these allegations is quite alarming in my opinion. Uh, you have people putting all types of allegations and aspersions out against P. Diddy. You haven't seen any really lawsuits that's fighting these allegations. You know what I mean? Uh, from P. Diddy's side, unless... He has filed something or his team has filed something that we don't know about. Now, again, um, you know, they say Carl Winslow uh, has never been married, doesn't have children, and is quiet about his personal, you know, uh, life in that aspect. Uh, you said they said a lot of people, again, have had speculation about Carl Winslow. And also you had 50 Cent, who's a rapper uh, that was online. Uh, re-pushing this uh, story that came out today. And 50 was just going in about this today uh, with this story. Now, uh, 50 Cent, he basically went on his social media and posted this on his social media today about uh, what this uh, man alleged. 
um, you know, and this went wild on his social media with 50 Cent posted. Uh, now, 50 Cent actually, you know, uh, I guess have been following all this stuff. You guys have already known how what's been going on with 50 as far as the situation is concerned. And, um, you know, under the, under, under the Fair Use Act, I want to let you guys hear some of the allegations from this man. So under Fair Use, I'm going to let you guys hear some of the allegations right now. Like I see, like, when Diddy fucked Carl's Winslow, we was at the party. Uh-huh. And, you know, we just chilling and shit like that. And me... He messed up my childhood when he told me every, that. Everybody know me, right? Right. He just, so he just came out off the top and said, when Diddy blanked Carl Winslow. See, I'm going to tell y'all something. Uh, and, I, and I'm not, not finished playing it yet, but I want to tell y'all something. If P. Diddy does not start filing lawsuits and fighting this stuff, people are going to speculate that this stuff is true. Because there's so many people that's saying this stuff, man, and coming out now with stories, and there's no reaction. There's no, uh, you know, backlash to this stuff. Especially if a guy like Carl Winslow does not come out, uh, who has normally been quiet. Uh, if Carl Winslow does not come out uh, against these allegations, a lot of people are going to uh, feel a certain way. Uh, but this guy, he basically said that he, you know, caught this thing. And again, you heard the security guard say that he saw Dwight Howard, the, the celebrity security guard said he, saw, he he alleges he saw Dwight Howard at a P. Diddy party in a pink dress. We have not heard Dwight Howard refute any of those allegations. He's also said that he saw Dwight Howard with two other brothers at the P. Diddy party in a pink dress. And he, he alleged that they was allegedly holding hands walking around the party. Uh, he also alleged that he that Dwight Howard was over in Mexico with other men you know, uh, in parties, uh, is what that security guard alleged. But we saw no uh, lawsuit or no allegations from, uh, we saw no lawsuit or allegations from, uh, or excuse me, we saw no lawsuit or defamation from Dwight Howard against the man who made the allegations. So that kind of puts everything into a bad situation, but let's keep going. I'm a goofy nigga. I'm funny and stuff like yeah. that. So I hear a nigga just wearing out some shit. I'm like, huh? Like, hearing that, I'm like, on six oh, who's wearing this bitch out? Right. Nigga, I kick in the door. Poof! Kick in the door. Nigga, I seen, I looked, I seen Carl Winslow put his yeah, that's head the father. Up. Ain't that the six father from, oh, like, from Family Matters? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Oh, oh, the dad. The dad. Oh, the dad. The dad. The dad. Yeah. I swear to God, dead homie. Neighborhood crib. So when I see, <laughs> wow. I see, I seen that. Man. And then, so who who was piping Carl? Uh, Diddy? Yeah, yeah, Diddy was. That's crazy, man. And shout out to all the, all things, uh, all things, all things in on GMO. I, I don't know how you pronounce that, 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 uh, that outlet, outlet, but salute to y'all. Uh, credit to y'all, but I'm just gonna say this, man. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, bro. And like I said, it's amazing how all this time none of these things have come out, and now all of a sudden, uh, after P Diddy has uh faced alleg uh faced uh the um uh, allegations and faced the uh raid from the uh feds, now all these different allegations are coming out, and again, P Diddy gonna have to lawyer up, man, on these people, man, if the, if if it's not true. I mean, because if, I mean, if, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. A lot of people are going to start believing this stuff if lawyers don't come out and defamation suits ain't filed. You know, Carl Winslow, we haven't heard from him on this at this point. I don't know, you know, if he has a response to this. Again, the reports are that he is very quiet about his personal life. He reportedly has never been married, doesn't have any children, and doesn't speak about his personal life in the public. But this man is on open tape saying he witnessed this situation between P. Diddy and Carl Winslow. And so everybody has really been up in a frenzy. And again, somebody caught went, got went, 50 cents somehow got wind of this and was going crazy online about this today, about this story that this brother uh, came and said that he witnessed. You know what I mean? Um, and he said that he saw it with his own eyes. You know what I mean? And so, I mean, hey, this is unbelievable stuff that you're hearing. All these different things that have been coming out, accusations that have been coming out against Puff, man. And like I said before, man, it ain't been no rebuttals. We haven't seen none of these dudes catching no lawsuits, none of this stuff. So when when, when I see when I seen that cuz right, 
Diddy came back and he he was telling me he was like, it's nothing more enjoyable than having a man do something for some money. I'm like, cuz that shit crazy. Oh, nah, that's wow. So he says P. Diddy did it for some money. He said P. Diddy told him that it's nothing more enjoyable. He said P. Diddy told him. He's saying that he's a legend that P. Diddy told him this. So again, man, P. Diddy might have to come out, man, with a lawsuit if this is not true. Now, this brother, I mean, for him to say it like that, he feel, he got to feel like it's true for him to say this in the public eye. He have to feel like what he is saying has credibility for him to say that and then for him to say, and then for him to say that that is not, to the brother who said that's Brick Baby, that is not Brick Baby, uh, you are wrong. Uh, to the brother in the comment section, you are wrong. That is not Brick Baby who said that. We're going to put you in timeout, sir. So you're going to be in timeout right there. That is not Brick Baby who said that. Uh, that That is wrong. You're not going to put false names out there in the comment section on different things. You're wrong about that, sir. Uh, so um, as I was telling you guys, man, again, uh, you know, this brother said that he witnessed it. This brother said that, uh, you know, P. Diddy told him there's nothing more pleasurable than, you know, being with a guy allegedly paying for it. And I mean, that's what he, that's what he said P that he told him. And then also, uh, there's an interview out with DJ academics that I was sent today where he's saying that he feel he, he, that, uh, he believes that at some point in time, P did, going to come out and announce that, or uh, come out and admit that he goes both ways. Now, I don't know how true that is or how false that is. To me, like I said before, I'm just wondering why is all this stuff coming out now in the aftermath of the allegations? So now, like all the allegations don't came out against, you know, uh, you know, P. Diddy. And now it seems like everybody's coming out with different stories and like none of these stories are being debunked. For, none of these stories have been debunked from P. Diddy's side. I don't know why. I don't know if he's trying to just let all of this stuff blow over. But it just seems like every single day or every other day, it's a new allegation, a new story. And it's just wild, man, like all the different stuff that's going on. This man said that he told him that, though. He, This man is claiming that he told him that is what he's claiming. That's what he's claiming. He said he claims he told him that. So, I mean, I'll let y'all hear it one more time. But Carl Winslow, we was at the party. Uh-huh. And, you know, we just chilling and shit like that. And me, everybody know me, right? right. I'm, a, I'm a goofy nigga. I'm funny and stuff like yeah. that. So I hear a nigga just wearing out some shit. I'm like, huh? <laughs> like hearing that, I'm like, on six, oh, who's wearing this bitch out? Right. Nigga, I kick in the door. Poof. Kick in the door. Nigga, I seen, I looked, I seen Carl Winslow put his yeah, head father. Ain't that the father from, oh, like, from Family Matters? <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh, oh, the dad. The dad. Oh, the dad. The dad. The dad. Yeah. I swear to God, dead homies, they were a crib. So when I see, <laughs> wow. I see, I seen that, Man. and then so who who was typing? Car uh, Diddy? Yeah, yes. Diddy was. That's crazy, man. So yeah, man, that's that's the allegations that the brothers putting out. Man, he said he saw it. He said he witnessed this stuff, man, and he says that you know what I'm saying. Um, he he also like I said goes on to allege that. He alleges that Puff told him uh, something in the aftermath of that, too. He said that Puff allegedly told him that it's n nothing, I guess he said, more pleasurable than, um, you know what I'm saying? Now, again, I don't know about Carl Winslow's, uh, how he get down. I haven't really followed Carl Winslow since the Family Matter days. You know what I'm saying? And, and really, man, I mean, he do whatever he, whatever he going to do, that's on him. But I'm going to tell y'all, like, to be honest with y'all, man, the, it's crazy how now all these allegations is coming out now. All these allegations is coming out now. It's like, man, bro, that's the part that's crazy because it's like if people known this stuff all this time and everybody was still hanging with Puff and cool with Puff, it seemed like a lot of people were up until the charges came out. Now everybody's been a distance. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that. Now, somebody said Reginald came out. Carl Winslow came out. He allegedly came out. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know Carl Winslow allegedly came out. I got to look that up to see if he came out. I didn't know that. Y'all telling me something that's new, so I didn't know. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I never knew that he did. I never knew. So I'll, I'll say allegedly because I never knew that, man. 
I never knew, man. But again, uh, to be saying this in public, uh, somebody said he said this years ago. Well, dang, I ain't even know that. Y'all told me something new. I learned something new tonight. I learned something new tonight. I didn't even know Carl Winslow allegedly came out. But I'm going to say this. Um, for people to come out and openly say that and put themselves in a the line of fire, you guys got to understand one thing. These people know Puff is a multimillionaire. So they know if you come out saying something defamatory that's not true, that they know that they can file a lawsuit. You understand what I'm saying? Like Diddy can file a lawsuit. He has the assets. He has the bread. He has the lawyers to sue you for defamation. So for people to be saying this stuff in the public, they're, they are challenging Diddy to file a lawsuit or challenging him to contest what they're saying. So trust me, people are not going to come out just saying stuff from nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, that if they that you know what I'm saying they just making up if they know that they if they know that they could be liable for a lawsuit they're not you know what I mean uh, they're gonna be thinking like hey man if I say this right here bro I might get sued for defamation you know what I'm saying if I say this right here so and I'm telling y'all this so uh, people are saying I'm gonna go look that up I see a lot of people in the comments saying that Carl Winslow openly came out and admitted that he allegedly is uh, he go he is allegedly you know what. So I'm going to go look that up to verify that. You know what I'm saying? Um, matter of fact, let me look that up right now. Um, let me look that up right now. Carl Winslow comes out. Let me, let me, let me look that up right now. Let me look that, let me look that up right now. Hold on. I'm about to see this right now, man. Um, uh, let, me, let me, let me, let me. Cause there's been a lot of rumors over the years, man. But again, um, let me see. Uh, Carl Winslow, Carl Winslow, Carl Winslow. Let me see. I'm trying to see you guys if I can verify what you guys are saying in the comments section, man. Um, I'm seeing rumors about Carl Winslow. I've heard rumors about him and Uncle Phil in the past, but none of this stuff, like I said, can be verified. You know what I'm saying? None of this stuff can be verified. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, as far as, you know, um, to find out if this is true or not. You know what I mean? Now, Carl Winslow look a lot different today. Uh, you know, if you go look at his Wikipedia and his picture on Wikipedia and stuff like that, you know, um, that's that's something else. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see something real quick. Let me pull up his Wikipedia to see if they have this. Cause I, I never saw that people are claiming that, but I'm not going to report that as a fact, factual story because I don't have like the evidence of that. You know what I'm saying? To say that, you know, all I do, do know is, is that he was born in 1952 and on his Wikipedia, it said that he lives in Raleigh, North Carolina and Los Angeles. And he resided in Oceanside, New York. He has never been married, nor does he have any children, um, according to the Wikipedia. So his Wikipedia says he never was married. He never had any children. You know what I mean? And again, I, I will put a certain, uh, I will put his picture up here from Wikipedia so you guys can see that. Maybe that might kind of help y'all a little bit, his picture from Wikipedia. But that doesn't mean that he... He is, he is that way. I don't know. I've never heard him personally come out and admit that. So I can't factually report that. That's just people that's on YouTube right now alleging that they heard him say this is what people were saying on YouTube, that they're alleging that they heard him say this stuff again. He fatherly role on the Family Matters show. He was the father, you know what I'm saying? Um, he was Carl Winslow. So Reginald, uh, Reginald, which is his real name, you know, I never knew that he, uh, you know what I'm saying? I never knew he wasn't married and didn't have children. I'll show you guys right there on the screen. That's a more recent photo of him on the screen right there. Again, that's a more recent photo of him on the screen for you guys who didn't know. That is a more recent photo of him on that screen right there for everybody who did not know. So you guys see that right there. Uh, and so 
he I mean that picture he doesn't have no beard, no mustache, none of that stuff in that picture. So he looks way different in this picture than he did back in the day. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Back when he had a mustache. You know what I'm saying? He looked he looked different back from when he had a mustache and stuff like that. He looked different, man. And so that's that's this is the first time I'm hearing this story, man. But again, you know what I'm saying? The brother came out, the brother said he witnessed this. You know what I'm saying? The brother saying he witnessed this stuff, man. So again, y'all let me know what y'all feel. The brother then said that P. Diddy told him that it was nothing that was more uh pl enjoyable. He said that P. Diddy told him, uh, well, I'll let you hear what he said P. Diddy told him. And then and, and P. Diddy, like I said, man, you know, I'll let y'all hear what he said P. Diddy told him. So I hear a nigga just wearing out some shit. I'm like, huh? Like, hearing that, I'm like, on 6 oh, who's wearing this bitch out? Right. Nigga, I kick in the door. Poof! Kick in the door. Nigga, I seen, I looked, I seen Carlos Winslow put his yeah, that's head the father. Up. Ain't that the six, father from, oh, like, from Family Matters? <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh, oh, the dad. The dad. Oh, the dad. The dad. The dad. The dad. I swear to God, dead homies. Neighborhood crib. So when I, <laughs> wow. I, seen, I seen that. Man. And then, so who, who was piping Carl? Uh, Diddy? Yeah, yes. Diddy was. So when, when when I see, when I seen that cuz, right, Diddy came back and he, he was telling me, he was like, it's nothing more enjoyable than having a man do something for some money. I'm like, Cuz. That's crazy, man. So again, bro, that's what he's a legend. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's a legend, man. You know, and again, he putting himself in a line of, of fire for lawsuits if he's lying. But this is what he's a legend, and this is going viral right now, man. He's saying he was there, and he's claiming that P. Diddy told him this stuff. And again, um, you know, he said it was Carl Winslow. Now, I didn't know this. Like I said, this is the most recent photo of Carl Winslow. Uh, Carl Winslow's side has not spoken on this from what I know. He has not came out and addressed these allegations. Uh, but that is a more recent photo of Carl Winslow. Um, so he looks much different without the mustache and stuff that he had. He looks much different in that picture. And then again, if you go look on his Wikipedia, I did. I never knew that Carl Winslow was not married and didn't have any children. Um, so I did not know that about Carl Carl Winslow, man. I never knew that. So you guys are seeing uh, this right here, man. And and again, bro, uh, Carl Winslow, man. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, as you guys can see right here on y'all screen, man, um, he hasn't responded to this. Haven't heard P. Diddy respond to this. But, but obviously, you know, both guys should have a right to respond to any type of allegations that come out against them like that, man, uh, that can be that damaging like that. You know what I'm saying? And so, again, you guys you guys are seeing what they're saying, man, and you guys are seeing what the, what the allegations are, man. And, again, you know, um, this is crazy, man. All these different things is coming out, man. I just want to know why now. Like, I, I don't understand why everybody who's coming out with allegations about Puff waited. Like, it's like it's almost like, like, because nobody was saying nothing about this stuff all this time. Like, all these different allegations that came out with Puff came out after the Cassie lawsuit. Then you guys start hearing all these allegations about P. Diddy. So I don't understand why all these things came out. At this time, I don't understand it. You know what I mean? Uh, why the allegations came out from everybody. I'm talking about all the way across the board. Like, why they didn't come out before. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't understand it, man. You guys, maybe y'all can help me out in the comments section or what. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, again, you know, um, I'm not going to cast no aspersions on Puff or Carl Winslow because I wasn't there. But... You know what I'm saying? The man said that he witnessed this stuff. And so we'll see if, you know, anybody contests what he says from the camp of Carl Winslow or the camp of, you know, P. Diddy. But this guy claimed that P. Diddy made some statements to him, too, after that situation. So, uh, you know, I mean, if he's, make, if he's making that up, what he said P. Diddy said, and I mean, man, bro, you know what I mean? But again, you know, there's a lot of different people that have had different allegations about Puff. And like I said before, man, this is the type of stuff that you're hearing, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you've been hearing a lot of different allegations about guys like Puff, guys like Vince McMahon. And again, I, I did a video on my um, podcast. Y'all can go subscribe to my podcast. The link will be pinned at the top. Bro, there was stuff that, like, when Vince McMahon was running the WWE, 
bro, he was doing stuff on and and like acting roles on national on national like cable TV, right in front of everybody's face, right in front of everybody's face. Like Vince McMahon was was had things going on on TVs, and you saw this like on the big screen, and it was just like it was no problem. But now, like years later, everybody look at look back at it and say, "Dog, that's crazy," you know what I'm saying? And so again, man, you know, um, you know, he has allegations out against him too, as well as P Diddy. But you know, all of the things that are coming out about uh, allegations that are coming out about Puff now makes you think: Why is all these people saying this stuff now? Like, why wasn't this stuff said before? Why did people hold this stuff in? And now I want to say something. So it does really make you think, you know what I'm saying? When you when you when you really think about it, it makes you think why people held this stuff in for all this time and they knew this stuff. So again, you guys let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe, ring that bell, man. Holla. Hey man. Hey man, I'll holler back. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Subscribe to the podcast. I'll put the link at the top of the comments and we'll talk about this even more on the podcast show. Gone.